What an embarrassment for this country. We've got athletes now from England to Jamaica, India to Fiji, New Zealand to Canada, learning that the 2026 Commonwealth Games in Melbourne, Australia, that they've been training for, has been cancelled. It's been scrapped by a Premier who cannot tell the truth and apparently cannot add up. The uh, Games will not proceed uh, in Victoria in 2026. Uh, we have informed Commonwealth Games authorities of our decision um, to seek to terminate the contract uh, and to not conduct, not, not host the Games. OK, so why is this Premier, Daniel Andrews, reneging on a deal just three years before the Games are due to begin? Well, it's actually quite simple. One, he's run out of money. Two, he's hopeless with budgets. And three, he's a megalomaniac. And by the way, I also think he's a liar, now lying to cover up to how incompetent he really is. And I'll show you, I'll show you the clown show excuses Premier Dan Andrews gave today for not just cancelling the Melbourne Games, but actually putting in doubt whether any Commonwealth Games will be held in 2026, given this now such short notice. Let us start with this. What's become clear uh, is that the cost of hosting these games in 2026 is not the $2.6 billion which was budgeted and allocated and is sitting, uh, vast, vast majority of which has not been spent. Uh, it's not $2.6 billion, it is in fact at least $6 billion uh, and could be as high as $7 billion. And I cannot stand here and say to you that I have any confidence that that even $7 billion number would appropriately and adequately fund these games. OK, let's hang on there. This is the same Premier who actually bid for these games. Now he's saying his estimate of the cost back then turned out to be wrong by a factor of at least two, more than two. So how did that happen? How did he get it so wrong? Well, actually, you'll find out that's quite typical of the man. That is Andrew's record with the big projects that he loves. I mean, you look, for instance, at his promise to build a new suburban rail link for just $50 billion. That's now officially estimated to cost more than double that if it ever gets finished. How on earth, then, could this Melbourne Games cost what Andrews claims? Because that's the other big thing. $7 billion? $7 billion, when a British government review of the last Games in Birmingham just last year said, hey, they cost just $1.5 billion. How could Melbourne's now cost nearly five times that? Well, firstly, because Andrews is hopeless with money. And like I said, a megalomaniac as well. He decided not to hold his games in Melbourne, which would have been cheaper because he already has all the sports facilities he could want. He decided instead to hold it in five country centres instead, where Labor actually wants to win seats. That bit's very important. And that meant, of course, having to build lots more facilities, housing, lots more transport costs, the whole shebang. But there's also another reason for this supposed blowout. And that is, how can I put it really delicately? A lie. Andrew saying that these gains have blown out from 2.6 billion to 7 is, in my opinion, a lie. It's not just me who thinks that, I think. The head of the Australian Commonwealth Games Association doesn't believe him either. But what I can say, as it was noted in the CGF, uh, media release earlier today that uh, the costs were less than 50% of those being quoted today by the Premier. And really, I mean, think about it. How could Daniel Andrews in the state's budget, Victoria's budget, just eight weeks ago, have put the cost of these games at $2.6 billion, nothing to worry about, but today, eight weeks later, say, oops, it's seven. Uh, something doesn't figure here. You know, Andrew has always was very secretive. Today, again, he refused to even guess what now cancelling these games is going to cost in compensation for broken contracts. And there'll be a full accounting of the cost of the break of this contract. That's not settled. It's simply not finished yet. Uh, and it would be, I think, bad faith and, frankly, against the interests of taxpayers and all Victorians uh, if I was to try and conduct that negotiation uh, from the other side of the world at a press conference. That's not the way these things are done. How often have Victorians heard that? Andrew saying, oh, I can't possibly tell you. It'd be improper for me to tell you the 
stuff, the facts that you really need to know. Improper. I'll do it later when you've forgotten all about it. Now let's cut to the chase. That same Victorian budget two months ago also shows what I think is the real problem here. This socialist left premier, and I warned this would happen, has actually just run out of money. Now, Victoria's debt is about to be more than the debt of New South Wales and Queensland combined. And here's another sign that this is the real reason. You know, Andrews is broke. Spent like a drunken sailor for years, it's caught up with him. And us, the Commonwealth Games people actually came to Daniel Andrews ages ago and said, look, hey, you know, we know these costs are actually a problem. We're worried about this cost, by the way. He hadn't told them he was, really. Um, you could save a lot of money, Premier, just by cutting back on your grand plan. The Victorian government willfully ignored recommendations to move events to purpose-built stadia in, in Melbourne and, in fact, remain wedded to proceeding with expensive temporary venues in regional Victoria. But Andrews wasn't interested in running a more modest games and uh, displeasing the country voters, I guess. He junked the lot. And now who in the world is going to step in and hold the 2026 20, Games with just three years left to prepare? I mean, certainly no other Premier here wants a bar of it. So we can't bid for the Commonwealth Games. We're not in a position to take them on. We cannot afford to spend more money on another Games. We won't be uh, um, uh, making a bid for the Commonwealth Games. So Andrews might have killed off the Commonwealth Games for 2026, or at least postponed them. He's certainly trashed our reputation. The Victorian government, however, has jeopardised Melbourne and Victoria's standing as a sporting capital of the world. Um, and I would be very careful if I was an international sporting body coming and doing business in this state in the future. But Daniel Andrews won't say sorry for any of that, or for smashing the dreams of our athletes or thousands of other athletes around the world. I'm not here to apologise. Isn't this man so shameless?